All right, we're out front of 5020 Chestnut Street on beautiful Chestnut Street in West Philadelphia. We're a couple blocks from the 52nd Street stop. We're also a couple blocks from Baltimore Avenue. Um, Baltimore Avenue is great coffee shops, restaurants, etc. cetera. Um, 52nd and Market takes you to Center City. Um, it's just a wonderful location. Beautiful property. Really nice front porch. Big, beautiful windows. Let's see into your open floor plan. This front mulched area is perfect for a garden. Could be a front seating area. Outdoor dining area, etc. This side alley on this twin is great because it's a way you can take trash out through the street on trash day. Also, because it's a twin, there's windows all along this side. And it uh leads to beautiful natural light. So the floors were just refinished. The whole property was tuned up, tightened up, repainted, you name it. <laughs> it's a really beautiful open floor plan. Fireplace, ceiling fan, recessed lighting, beautiful crown molding, and um, just high character molding like around the um, dining area. As I said, there's tons of natural light due to these windows along the side. It's a perfect dining and living space. It's a really beautiful space. Central heat and central air throughout. Not only in the finished basement, on the first floor, and in your four bedrooms upstairs. Now this kitchen, okay, Cabinets were painted. Commercial gas range. Dishwasher. Beautiful countertops. Tons of cabinet space. So much countertop space, obviously. Pretty backsplash. Place has just has everything you could want. Here are hookups for your washer dryer. So there's a gas line and a vent. And there's your water hookups right there. Hot and cold. Quickly, there's a closet here right under the stairs. It's not your stairs to the basement. A nice little cubby. Store anything and everything you could need to. Now, let's head to the backyard. Really nice, big, expansive rear yard. The prior owners use this as primarily gardening space. They have a really nice greenhouse here. Tons of space to do pretty much whatever you want. Could be turned into a seating area with grass. You could put um, another pad out here to reduce maintenance. Um, see like how that owner has a pad. They've grassed the whole rear yard. Um, so there's just tons of options here. Um, looking out 
back. Mix of brick, siding, on the bump out. Just really pleasant back here. And what's great is, is that you not only can access your um, basement from inside, but also through here. So there's a, a, a door right here that's accessible from the backyard. So you don't have to go upstairs again to get out back here. It makes for a really nice communal in and out type of environment, if you will. Um, just a beautiful space. Again, along the side here, because this is a twin, this is your property right here. This is your sidewalk. Um, you can take your trash, recycling, etc., in and out through here, which is wonderful. Um, and uh, super convenient and clean and, and nice. There's glass block windows throughout the basement along the side, just like that. Leads to nice ventilation, but also some natural light and, and makes it very safe with the glass block. So let's head in and I'll show you. There's Dante. Bring a lot of this together. So the first thing we'll look at is what upstairs first. Let's check out the upstairs. So you've seen all this already. Dining, living, kitchen. Let's head upstairs. So brand new carpet. Makes it very cozy. Perfect for this time of year in the winter. There's an alarm system already installed. Simply safe. Okay. So there's four bedrooms, one here, here. This is your first full bath that we're seeing. There's three full bathrooms, three third bedroom, fourth bedroom, okay? So the first one, the front, before we get in there, there's a little closet here, okay? Can be outfitted however you like. This bedroom has your second full bathroom. So it's an end suite, it's private. So once you shut this door, you don't have to leave to go to the bathroom, take a shower, get ready, etc. Really nice size vanity, large and spacious to put things on the counter, and then also use the sink. Nice mirror, nice storage space under here. Toilet, tub, okay, for soaking if you choose. Tile all the way up to the ceiling and a bed. So if we turn this on, you can ventilate the bathroom. Okay, so heading out. There's two closets in here. Very standard size closets, can be outfitted however you like. There's a fireplace, <laughs> um, which turns on. Okay, very pretty. Nice mirror. You must Philadelphia, there's a lot of homes with these kind of like extra character touches. It's not just cookie cut. There's a lot of neat little quirky um, design elements. There's the mirror, hello. <laughs> okay, tons of natural light in this property. Windows are huge, um, just really pleasant. Second closet here, it's a little bigger than the last one. Okay, can be outfitted however you choose. At this property, the roof was just redone all of the roofs. So you have a great, well-maintenanced property to move into. Okay, and here is your second bedroom. Okay. okay. Amazing windows, large 
storage closet. There will be a floor plan that goes along with, to show you inside, sorry for that. There's a great, there'll be a floor plan that goes along with this property to show you the sizes of all the rooms. Okay. So heading out. Now your second full bathroom that we'll have walked into. This is the one I just showed you from the hall though. Okay. Tile throughout. The shower and tub combo. Very nice vanity, toilet, storage underneath, a little cubby to store anything and everything you might want to. Heading out of here is your third bedroom. So it's just probably super functional. A few of these rooms could be used for office space for all those that are doing a lot more work from home now. Um, it could be four legit bedrooms with closets and windows and um, room for any number of bed, bed sizes. Okay, a double closet, meaning that it's well, about double the size of the normal width of a standard closet. So that's great. Heading out. Here's the biggest bedroom. Super functional. Tons of options in here. Huge windows. Really high ceilings in this property. Not only in the first floor, but in here. There's another big closet, double closet. Can be outfitted however you like. No detail was spared in here. That's the truth. Everything was done to the nines. Okay. Now, let's head downstairs. To your finished basement. That again, is accessible not only from, it's just so expansive this property, it's so wide just feels super luxurious as you come down there. Um, the kitchen just has just so much breath. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but, or if I use that word correctly. But, um, all right, heading down to your finished basement. This property is just so versatile. Has, you have so many options and so much square footage to do whatever you choose. Okay, comes with a dehumidifier. It's helpful to run them in, in basements in Philadelphia. Okay, you have glass block windows throughout. Your heating and cooling system is in here, along with your hot water heater. This property was got renovated in 2016. So all the systems, appliances, etc. Basically brand new, a couple years old, but um, uh, very recently put in. It's your electric panel, electric meter, okay. Here is your third full bathroom, toilet, vanity, large shower, tile surround, all the way to the ceiling. All the glass block windows have ventilation, so you can open that when someone's showering down here. Just a super versatile, big space. Could be a man or lady cave. <laughs> Could be, um, you know, pool table, ping pong. Um, uh, to give you an idea of ceiling height, I am 5'9", roughly, so, and the ceiling is about 6'2", I would say, roughly, about 6'2", height, okay? 
the purpose of these videos is not to <laughs> sell you the dream, to be honest. It's to be honest. Uh, and that's why we do that. This is an additional storage space, okay? It's just clean, tight. Can be used to store any number of things um, easily and, you know, in this cubby, quote unquote. Um, this, um, you know, faces towards the front. And again, that's towards the back. That's that door where you can access the rear yard front without going through the house or the from the first floor. You don't have to go up those stairs to get out. You can go right through there. So it's a beautiful property, tons of potential um, in terms of what you can and can't do with it. Um, it's endless. It's just so much square footage. Um, very luxurious, um, you know, uh, hope you come through. Let us know if you have any questions, um, it should go quick. So uh, thanks for uh, tuning in.